So in this segment, we're going to be talking about a clip um, on Newsnight that they were interviewing this MP, Darren Jones, a Labour MP, saying that the government always knew that there was a shortage of heavy goods vehicle drivers um, for a long time now, and they never did anything about it. And Brexit has just exacerbated that problem. Rather than improving kind of working conditions within these industries, the government just let it fester. And then once Brexit hit and the situation got way worse, especially with all the cancelled driving tests thanks to the pandemic, um, we, we see that, you know, the, the problem essentially it, it just the rubber hit the road at that point and the government are now a government and industry are faced are forced to face the problems that they helped to create so we'll watch this clip here and we'll look at another clip from michael gove regarding shortages for joining us in if we're talking about the next eight weeks how do you resolve uh, the critical issues in the next eight weeks well, the issue here is that this whole saga was entirely foreseeable. Trade bodies and businesses have been saying this for months, if not years now, before the Brexit uh, transition period. Uh, and ministers have failed to prepare. And now British businesses and British customers are suffering the consequences. Ministers could have put uh, procedures and support packages in place to ramp up the number of HGV drivers available to companies around the country months and months ago, but they have failed to prepare. And once again, I think this is an example of the government leading by a wing and a prayer as opposed to leading with competence. And, you know, the simple fact is the government have known about this for a long time. They didn't do anything about it. Um, you know, the, about the government leading with a wing and a prayer, you know, it's a great point. We'll go back a bit. Um, you know, British businesses, consum consumers are struggling, ministers fail to prepare. And this this kind of point that she makes, you know, about the next eight weeks, even if you put, you know, it's too late now, even if you put sh the uh, HGVs on the shortage list, it's still not going to resolve the problem. There's no way you're going to get in, you know, however many we need um, to get from a crisis to just a standard shortage. You know, there's no way you're going to get 40,000 drivers from the EU. I mean, it's only between... 15 and 25,000 that left. Um, so this, you know, the returning of, you know, putting HGV drivers on the emergency shortlist is too late to do that, I'm afraid. You know, we are going to face a Christmas meltdown. Um, we'll go to this clip from Michael Gove, which is, you know, going to age very badly, just like him. Everyone will have the food they need. That's not the answer, Arnold. Well, one I'm, of... I'm saying, will there be shortages? And you're saying, yes, there will be. No, there will be no shortages of fresh We've already seen shortages of fresh food, so that's aged very badly, just like himself. And um, yeah, not much more to say apart from the fact that the government have always known that there was going to be a problem with lorry drivers and chose not to do anything about it, thinking that either it's not their job or that industry would solve it. And we are facing uh, shortages and increased food costs. Inflation's very high this year, as in part down to the um, increases in wages and costs because of Brexit as well as the pandemic. And it's just not a great situation all around, is it, that the government, again, failed to deal with this? I don't know, you know, I'm guessing these problems have been around for a long time, the condition that lorry drivers have worked in. Obviously, the Tories have been in charge for around 11 years, but I would wager that even under Labour, it's not been great. And even in Europe, I doubt, dry, you know, conditions for drivers are that great and it's about time there was a reality check on that industry that you can't treat drivers badly like you have done and now is the time you have to improve now you have to improve their wages and you know the quality of life that they have as drivers so you know if if brexit has benefited these drivers then at least something good has come out of this um apart from the fact that they may have to do more hours now and they're going to be incredibly overworked because they're going to have constant jobs thrown at them you know constant things that they're going to be asked to do but um i would if we had a labor government in charge now i'd be far more confident that they would um force the industry to change for the better unfortunately we don't have that we've got team blue in charge and team blue ain't great but um yeah just to say the government always knew about this did nothing to improve conditions or wages or anything like that and um, that kind of reliance on the, the idea that, well, these guys aren't going to go anywhere and someone's going to replace them. And, you know, this race to the bottom ideology that has led to this shortage in lorry drivers um, is going to hit has hit the country hard already. And it's going to ruin Christmas for a lot of people. But anyways, look, I'm going to leave it there. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one.